To many Americans in their second year of war, the pleasant vacations of pre-war days are only a memory to be revived when peace returns again. But enjoying a hearty holiday on a green and sun-soaked island six miles off the coast of Florida is a lively group of vacationing couples whose right to relaxation, even in wartime, few would contest. For these are war workers and their wives, enjoying a free vacation earned by a solid year, in some cases two years, of hard work and long hours. This year's vacationers at Honeymoon Isle are part of the personnel of one of America's dizziest wartime industrial enterprises, an Ohio defense factory where the sky is the limit, both in hours worked by each employee and in amount of production per man and per machine. Three years ago, the Jack and Heinz Company was a modest producer of airplane starters. Today, war orders have made it big and busy while its management has made it fabulous. Today, American businessmen and industrial analysts are debating whether Jack and Heinz Incorporated of Cleveland is a preview of the American industrial future or a blueprint for Bedlam. It was in 1942 that America first heard of engineer Ralph M. Heinz and his exuberant senior partner, William S. Jack, former machinist and union business agent. Colonel Jack, then as now, controlled the Jocko business and production policies. To capable Ralph Heinz were assigned all the company's problems of invention, engineering, and design. In that year, Congress had sniffed a wartime scandal in widespread reports of lavish salaries and bonuses being paid to Jack and Heinz employees. In Jocko language, associates. In 12 months, more than $39,000 had gone to Adeline Bowman, Bill Jack's devoted and capable secretary. But Bill Jack returned from his Washington ordeal cleared of all personal blame, to find that he and his company had become front page news in the nation's battle for war production. Sure, we're generous with our associates. That's the way to get maximum production. Our people don't receive any more per hour than anyone else. The Army and Navy aren't complaining. We're way ahead of schedule on airplane starters. We make an automatic pilot that's 25% lighter and costs far less than has ever been made before. And we make them twice as fast. Though forced to abandon lavish executive bonuses, Jack and Heinz since 1942 has still forged ahead in its own private battle with Adolf Hitler. By adapting mass production methods to the making of precision equipment, Jocko broke a serious bottleneck in airplane starters and control devices. And biggest producer in its field, won for itself the coveted Army Navy E, symbol of efficiency.
The Jocko Company today has but one customer, the United States Armed Forces, whose orders have given the plant a whacking backlog of nearly a quarter of a billion dollars. At frequent staff meetings, confident owner President Bill Jack spurs on the troops he commands in the war to outbuild the Axis. Impassioned apostle of booted up production, he views the immediate future without alarm. We have established for ourselves associates production records each month that we have continued to be. But if the government thinks the tap is a real production record. Let them wait for the close of the year. In all the United States, Jack and Heinz is the only sizable company that has made the seven-day, eighty-hour week popular with labor. Jocko Associates work in two shifts of twelve hours each, but though the working day is long, it usually begins with a whoop. All aboard for the Jocko Special! Next out, roll in. <laughs> no time clocks at Jack and Heinz, but late arrivals soon learn the price they must pay for violating the unwritten rule of promptness imposed by the rigid honor system of the Jocko Workers Group. As long as the work is done and the schedules met, Jocko associates are subject to few restrictions, and all are made to feel that they are full participants in the business of the company, and that they are informed of the progress of the work in hand, usually in a benchside chat delivered by Bill Jack himself. Attention, associates. Attention. Associates, Bill Jack calling. I have just finished checking our production up to the 15th of the month. And much to my surprise, I have found that we're approximately 2% behind schedule. I believe we can make it up as we always have before. Remember, we have a war to win. <laughs> To break the monotony of the grueling 12-hour shifts, every day there are donuts on the house, carried to the benches by a cheerful brigade of morale builders. At every hour of the day and night, the coffee urns stand ready to provide a mild bracer for those who need it. One hot meal per shift is provided free for the Jocko associates. Though the meal is often simple, possible dietary deficiencies are compensated for by free and unlimited vitamins. 